Welcome to Life Bites Mindful Mondays. I'm life, business, and energy coach, Nina Bosky. And in today's grounding session, we're gonna help you get centered, cleared, and connected. Let's get started. And as we move into this week's topic of rising above, I want you to start to look at your own life and move into the focus of this topic. Rise above means what to you? Is it rising above a certain circumstance or challenge you may have in your life? Is it rising to a new frequency in your life? What does it mean to rise above? And just open up the space for you in this divine grounding session to gather some help from the other side. Let us begin. From the base of your spine down to the center of the earth, you're going to create a grounding cord. And you're gonna take the roots of this grounding cord and really anchor yourself to Mother Earth, to yourself, to your essence, to who you are. And let's start to release everything that no longer serves you. Letting go of the past. Take a nice big deep breath. Letting go of the future. Take a nice, big, deep breath. And let's start to say hello to the here and now. Insert the date. And now let's create a circle of light around you about two feet out. And a circle of yellow roses all surrounding you. And we're opening up the space for your personality and your higher self to work hand in hand. You're co-collaborating with each other in that beautiful circle of yellow roses. Creating a circle of pink roses around you that represent love and compassion for yourself as well as the outside world. And a circle of red divine roses that represent protection from anything that is not of your own energy. Some of you are running energy that is not your own. So people, situations, furry animals, everything goes on the outside of your space. Co 
co-workers. Hmm, those lovely co-workers. And as you claim your own space, you start to become more authentically you, vibrating in your own frequency. Take a nice, big, deep breath. Now let's come up to your sixth chakra, right between the brow. And about two feet out, you're going to create a movie screen. And you're going to say hello to your life today, this week, on your movie screen. Let's say hello to your opportunities this week. What opportunities do you have? And if you're not even clear about what they are, just say hello. You're welcoming in your opportunities. You're expanding and exploring And let's mock up for this week that you're only going to bring forth the opportunities that will help you move your energy forward. Let's say hello to your challenges. Can you become more neutral to your challenges? and become the observer of your challenges. Watching your challenges. Let's say hello to your blessings. Opening up the space for even more blessings in your life. Now let us check in to your physical body. I'd like you to scan your body and ask yourself, how do I feel physically? And just see what lights up. If there's any dis-ease or discomfort, bring in a gold or green energy. And bring in pink energy if you need more love for your body. And now let us affirm in your physical body health, vitality, strength and flow, health, vitality, strength and flow. Let's give our body some extra TLC. It does so much for us each and every day. Let's 
thank our bodies. And if there's any challenge in terms of having to rise above or move into a new frequency of health, let's bring in that gold and light to really help us bring in the vibrancy of health, vitality, strength, and flow. Take a nice, big, deep breath. And let's move up into our mental energies. Come up to the center of your head and create a golden light. Allow that golden light to get bigger and brighter. Blushing out any frenetic energy, anxiety, bogginess, incoherence. You're clearing the slate of your mind. And now let us affirm in our mental energies. I am alert, receptive, productive, and present. Once again, I am alert, receptive, productive, and present. Take a nice, big, deep breath all the way up to your crown chakra, all the way back down to the bottom of your belly and back up into your heart space. Let's open up those energy centers one more time, all the way up, take a nice, big, deep breath, all the way up to your crown chakra and hold it and then all the way back down to the bottom of your belly releasing the breath and coming back up into your heart space now let's get into your emotional body your feelings and we're becoming aware of how we feel. So just ask yourself, how do I feel in this moment? You might feel a variety of things, but keep it simple. Happy, sad, excited, determined, inspired, whatever it is. And now, if you look at the topic of rising above, whether you're moving to a new frequency or you're overcoming a challenge, what feelings do you need to feel in order to support the intention and vibration that you want to resonate in today? How do you want to feel? So I'm going to give you three 
And I'd like you to add on whatever other feelings you'd like to feel. I feel loved, supported, nurtured, and I feel loved, supported, nurtured, and what would you like to feel? Take a nice big deep breath. And let's come up to our crown chakra. And we're gonna go up about three or four feet into our 11th, 12th area of our chakras. We're really going to rise above, opening up to our spiritual body, our more divine self. And as we open up that portal, we start to say hello to ourselves, the divine, our loved ones, and then to the world. And as you plug into this frequency, say to yourself, I am connected. I am connected. And if there's anything you'd like to ask your higher self, around rising above, if you have a challenge or a situation you're working through, maybe you just need to vent. Ask yourself for support in the area of your life that's calling to you in this moment. And now let's take a nice big deep breath. Put your hand on your heart. And let's think and feel three things that you are grateful for today. And really feel them in your heart. And now let's send love to somebody who may need it, including yourself.
And now as we bring down a beautiful golden light, let's all put some green energy in that as well as some pink to serve up new fresh ideas and a lot of love in our space. As this golden light with pink and green moves down through your crown chakra into your sixth. Let's ignite our sense of knowingness, our intuition. Moving down through your fifth, igniting your authentic, true self true expression as it moves down into that heart space with that beautiful golden light with green and pink really bathing that heart chakra with love support and nurturing whatever else you'd like to feel as that golden light keeps coming down through your third. You're aligning with the frequency you want to feel. So it moves down into your second, igniting that creation energy, the primal creation space, as it moves back down into the first chakra, the base of the spine. And that foundation of life, say to yourself, love of self, feel that golden light in that base of the spine. As it moves down through your legs, creating that strength and flexibility down through your calves, that beautiful energy keeps moving down into your feet. Wiggle your toes, say hello to those fun fairies help you lighten up this week as it moves back down into Mother Earth. Say to yourself, all is well. Life is good. And everything is moving forward exactly as it should be. Take a nice big deep breath. Stretch it out. Mm. 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 Open your eyes. Now that you are grounded, cleared, and connected, let's move on to this week's message and life theme. So let's move our bodies around a little bit. And the reason why I say that is for some people, this is a wake up. But for those of you who've been up for a while, use it as a time to start to really say hello to the body now, moving out of a grounding where you're intentionalizing your energy. Now we're infusing it with the body because the mechanics of the body is how we express. So rising above, when we think about this message this morning or wherever time you're listening to this is that rising above is a collaboration effort. It first starts with you. So in the meditation, when I talk about rising above a challenge or rising to a new frequency, or maybe even both, hmm, they intertwine, don't they? 
Because in order for you to rise above a challenge, you actually have to rise above into a new frequency. So a lot of us, what we do is we try to move to a new frequency, thinking the old thought. It's not going to get you there. Because the body, your higher self does not respond to your words. It responds to your energy. So it's much better to accept your life for where and your energy for where it is in this moment. I feel frustrated. I feel angry. I feel challenged in this area of my life. Okay. Now, what energy do I need to start moving to in order to feel that I'm moving again? Because stuck energy is just an experience. It's your experience being stuck. But you're not stuck. You yourself are not stuck. You're experiencing that energy. You're experiencing the challenge. You're experiencing the negativity. So when we want to move frequencies, it's not so much how what we say is it how we feel. So I want everybody who's listening to this right now to think about their own life and ask yourself, where do I want to rise above to? What's my intentional energetic expression that I want to feel? Now, for those of you who I've worked with, you know what I talk about is that the state can't be just words and you're still thinking negativity. But you work with little bite sizes of energy pockets to create that momentum. Abraham Hicks talks about this. It's not just about being in the state. It's about creating the momentum. So there's about 17 seconds when you want to hold a vibration of positivity, inspiration, and you hold it again for another 17 seconds and another 17 seconds and another 17 seconds. And pretty soon those thoughts create momentum. The same is true for the things we don't want in our life or we say we don't want in our life. Why does this keep happening to me? Oh, I'll never be able to do it. So that thought, 17 seconds, gets bridged with another thought. It gets bridged to another thought. And pretty soon, we're doubting ourselves. We have a new belief system. And is I can't do it. But that's actually not true. We're physical bodies expressing ourselves. But it's not our true nature. We're human beings having a human experience, and yet we are spiritual beings, which means we're energy. It's not set in stone. Just because I made a mistake, I had a past failure, something didn't work out, something's not continuing to work out, it doesn't mean I can't change it at any time in my life in this moment. So rising above starts here and now with a new thought process. And so it may go something like this. Oh, I don't know if I can do that. Oh, I got to think a new thought. So what is my new thought? What's my vibration I want to be in? And then I get a call. And the call says, sorry, we're going to have to put your XYZ intention on hold for a while. See, it never works out for me. Oh, wow. Look at that thought. Hmm. Maybe there's a new vibration I can feel. Maybe that experience isn't the highest vibration, or maybe I don't match it yet, but not judging it. Rerouting your GPS 
to get into the positive, inspirational, happy, fun place. I've said this before, the Bible verse, be in the world, but not of it. We're in the world of contrast. So don't think that just because I'm in a more happy place in this moment that I'm not going to go outside and get the exact opposite. So how do I rise above? I start to observe the energy. I start to not take on, for those of you that are empaths, take on running other people's energy. That's why these tools are so important. Rising above is energetic first. And then you move to the next step, the next step, the next step, and it creates the momentum. And just like free radicals that go in and out of space until more cells start to join it, and then it moves into a a transformed space. Same thing is for you. Think about a baby who's learning to walk. It doesn't judge itself. It doesn't go, oh my gosh, I cannot believe I can't walk today. It doesn't say anything like that. You know what it does? It falls down and if it has hurt itself for that moment, the tenaciousness of wanting to walk starts to drive the engine that gets the baby to walking. But could you imagine if babies, you were a baby once, basically said, I am so upset that I can't walk. Do you think I'd have the motivation to get up walking? Oh, you know, your legs are weak, man. You just don't have the strength. Doesn't think any of that. All it knows is it wants to walk. You were that vibration at one time, pure vibrational energy. I create. I rise above. So how badly do you want to rise above? It's a question. Because maybe it's more comfortable for you to stay in, I can't. Who am I to do this? Staying on the sidelines of life, waiting for the universe to give you the form in order for you to vibrate at it. Joe Dispenza, the best way to predict the future is to create it. You don't create it by looking at the outside world and saying, oh, tell me who I am. So I'd like you to think about your intentional vibration you'd like to be in today to help you rise above. We've given you love, support, and nurturing to give you that foundation. And then what else would you like to feel today, this week, to help you sustain that energy? Boom, I get something come in. Wow, that's a doozer. Am I going to fall for that energy and get me, knock me out of this space? Or I'm going to say hello to it and keep on moving. Boom, another thing comes in. Boom, another thing comes in. So the choice is yours. How will you respond or react to the outside energies that are trying to match where you're really at? And when you're changing energy frequencies, you will sometimes feel that overwhelm of emotions that are going to come in. Because you're in between. And it's the weakest part. It's like when the plant is coming up from the earth. It's very weak. It's very fragile. New life. So treat it with care. That new thought form is trying to emerge. But it's not going to emerge with all this judgment and fear and anger coming at it. Let it grow. Say hello to whatever thing is coming at you from the outside world and just protect it by not reacting to it, not giving it life. Feed your roses, not your weeds. If you feed your weeds, you're going to have a very big garden of roses and weeds. And when you look at a garden that's filled with weeds, it doesn't look so pretty. 
So what plants in your own life are you going to feed in order to help you rise above? I hope you've enjoyed this week's Mindful Mondays. Be sure to join us this Friday for another episode of Life Bites as we get you inspired in the areas of life, business, and media. I'm your host, life, business, and energy coach, Nina Bosky. And remember, until next time, sometimes in order to speed up, you've got to learn how to slow down.